Hi guys, welcome to the unit, um, the self-study unit for central tendency. So we'll be learning about mean, median, mode, and also a weighted mean. So uh, first we're going to start with the mean. It's pretty much the most straightforward one. People also call it the average. Okay. Um, it has this unit or symbol of X bar. So if you hear mean, average, X bar, we're kind of all talking about the same thing. So what is the mean? The mean is, you see this weird symbol, um, the sum of the x's over n. Okay, so here the x's are your numbers or your value or your data point. Then n is the number of values. Okay, so here what we would do essentially is just put a plus between all these. So 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 1 plus 8 and so on. Add all of those up. And that would give us our sum of our x's. Then divided by n. Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 sets of data. So adding all of these numbers up gives us our sum of our x's. And then we simply divide it by the total number we have, 15. Okay. So for this set of data, whatever it happens to be representing, the mean should come out to be 5.9 and then a repeat of 3. So that's the mean, or the average, or x bar. The mode. The mode is quite simply the number, or the value, or the value, that appears most often. So you just look through your data set and you figure out which one comes up most. <clears throat> Looking through here, um, we can see that there are three, four twos, so the mode is probably two. If we have a situation where there are equal numbers, so for instance, um, in this data set, there are only two sixes, but if I added in another six and then another, if I added in two more sixes, then we would have a situation where there are four sixes and four twos. We would call this bimodal, meaning there are two modes. Okay, so in this case, if this was my data set, it would be 6 and 2. My bimodal data would have two modes, one of 2 and one of 6. Okay, so that's the mode. The number or the value that appears the most often. The mean is you add them all up and you divide by the number you have. So that's your average. The next thing to look at is the median, okay? So the median requires a little bit more work. What we have to do with the median is first put these values in order from smallest to largest, so in increasing order. So we look at our values and we have a one, and then we have twos, we said we had four twos, I believe. One, two, three, four twos. One, three, um, two fives. two sixes, an eight, in the one of our room here, a nine, a ten, a twelve, and a sixteen. Okay? So they're all kind of squished in there. Now the median is just the number that's in the middle. Okay? So the median is the number that's in the middle. So what we do is we start going in from the sides. So we cross out numbers from each side. Now, of course, you can do this mathematically as well. This is kind of more fun. Okay. So if we look at this data then, what do we see? After we've crossed everything out, we are left with one number in the middle, and it's 5. So the median is equal to 5. Now, you will see when you have an odd number of data, so in this case we had um, 15 values, so we had an odd number, so we get one number left in the middle after we cross things out on both sides. However, in this data set, I have made it even, so there are an even number of data values, so again, we would just put them in order, so 
Maybe I'll just do this. Nope. We'll put them in order again. So one, four twos, one, two, three, four. Then we have a three, no fours, but two fives. Two sixes, an eight, a nine, twelve, and a sixteen. So I took out the ten. So let's do what we did before. Cross out one, cross out one, cross out two, cross out two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, we end up with <clears throat> two in the middle. In this case, they're both five. So the median is equal to 5. However, if it was a situation where you had something like this, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you did all of your crossing out, ugh, we'll do 10. All right, so we did all our crossing out, we crossed out evenly, and then we're left with five and six in the middle. What we do then is you just take the average. So you're going to average those points. So the median would then be, so if you do the average or the mean of these two, the median is then going to be 5.5. Okay? So in this example, we end up with one single number, odd number of data. Then if we have an even number of data, you're going to get two in the middle, like seen here. If they're the same, then your median is just that number. No problem there. If they are different, you average those two numbers, and then the median is going to be the average of those two. The last thing we need to talk about is the weighted mean. So this is how your grades are calculated. So when I say something is worth 25% and something is worth 15%, and then you get a certain grade on it, what we're doing is we're looking at your weighted average for your final mark. So what does that mean? The weighted average is here. This is the symbol for it. So it's a W with a bar across. Remember that the mean, just the normal mean, was X bar. So if it's a weighted mean, we do W bar. But we're not doing this now, so I'll get rid of it. Okay, so the weighted mean is equal to the sum. So this symbol means sum of the weight. over the values divided by n, or the total, total weight. All right, so this is best demonstrated, I think, in an example. So here's an example. So maybe you get a syllabus or an appendix that says that your grade is 25% for one assignment and you get, I don't know, an 80 on that. And then your next one says it's 50%, this is your test, and you get a 73 on that. And the last one is your final project, and on that one you get totally bomb it and you get like a 52. Okay? So now you want to know what is your overall average for the course. What is your weighted mean? So again, your weighted mean is going to be equal to the sum of the weights times x over the total n, the total weights. Okay? So let's take a look at that. So in this value, here's the weights, so here's W, and then X is the grade, and then N is the total, so in this case it's going to be 100, okay, because these add up to, these weights add up to 100. So what is that going to look like? Well, all right, what we're going to have, we're going to have, the weighted average is equal to the sum of the weights times x. So 80 times 25 plus 73 times 50 plus 
52 times 25, all of that over 100%. So then you put that into your calculator. So take a minute and do that. All right, and after you've done that, you should get a weighted mean or a final average of 69.5%. So that person's final grade would be 69.5%. Now that you know how to do these, I encourage you to take a look at the assignment that is attached so that you can go through it, practice, and then get ready for your quiz in class.